Hey YouTube, welcome back to Alternate History with Juju Bear. Uh, Juju Bear here. We're going to be jumping, jumping to this uh, to this game as the Greeks. Now I don't know if you guys remembered from last episode, but we are aiming to build ourselves uh, a nice economy. That's for sure. But we just got declared war on by Askia Songhai, so they're down here in the south, and they're just getting a big head and, and basically threatening to take our lands. So we did settle this um, city here, Corinth. Um, pretty good location, but it's now under threat by all these pikemen and and uh, and, um, and warriors and that kind of thing. So we're going to have to get serious about defense. Um, we did take Baghdad from uh, Arabia in the last one of the last episodes. So I'm just gonna have to start thinking seriously about my defense because we'll just jump into the demographics here and just make sure. Yeah, see, soldiers, we're coming eighth, so we're not, we're not, at least we're not coming last, um, but, you know, some, like, the, some of the best armies around here, you know, double what we have at the moment. Our approval's not doing too well, we're okay with land, uh, gold is doing pretty well, so that's pretty appropriate for what we're trying to do. Um, Songhai is not doing too well either, you can see he's the worst in crop yield, uh, gold and land, so... That kind of explains why he's going after my territory, um, for his lack of lack of land. There are some pretty amazing spots down here to, to settle. I remember I was talking a, a couple of episodes about about all this land down here being um, quite, you know, right for the picking. So let's hopefully turn this around. We'll get some, um, we'll steal some territory off off these guys. I know I want to burn down this city or at least take it. Maybe seems like a pretty good spot, but I want more of these. Uh, these um, luxury resources over here. So I might leave it, might move it over here. Who knows? We'll see what we end up end up doing. One, two, three. Yep. So if we move it here, we, we will get access to all this horse and um, these fish, but it's probably going to be a waste of time because this is already at, at um, six size. So um, what are we studying? We're doing guilds, which is good. I, I'm kind of glad that we've got pikemen, because that will be very useful in this war. Um, we have got uh, composite bowmen, we've got a few kind of fanging about. Uh, what I'm going to do is bring this hoplite down south to, to help defend. It's going to take quite a while for him to get down there actually. Uh, we'll go across the sea. We're going to upgrade this uh, pike unit. Uh, this uh, hoplite to a pike, pikeman. Let's uh, change the production in this city to a composite bowman. It's gonna take a while, but uh, should we? Nah. What was it working on before? The watermill, wasn't it? So we're gonna keep on just focusing on this city, make sure it's keep it keeps growing. Uh, in some of the other cities, we're gonna start building our, our defensive units. Um, yeah, let's get some pikemen out. So I'm gonna bring some range units down south. We'll bring this unit down as well. I think we're going to try crossing the sea because that'll be a bit quicker. What I'm going to do is um, hopefully get a composite bowman in the actual city and get one of the pikemen up on some of these uh, defensive tiles here. Is Zanzibar... Okay, so Zanzibar is not paired with uh, Songhai, so that's going to be handy. Maybe we can get them on our side. That will help out a lot. What do they want? Porcelain. Yeah, everyone wants porcelain, don't they? You want porcelain. All right, nothing we can do about that for now. We'll keep an eye on this uh, worker unit. Just make sure he's not going to get uh, stolen in any of the next coming turns. We're almost done with the road from Athens to Sparta. That'll boost our income by quite a bit. It's just our defense at this point. It's it's not doing so well. Um, so let's bring some units down. We do have access to... Um, uh, catapults, which is good. So we can start building some of them. The fact that we've got quite a few composite bowmen means that we may not even have to do that anyway. So let's see how this next turn unfolds. I am expecting to lose Corinth at some point. Um, that won't be too much of a problem. So let's get our worker out of there. Maybe we can come up here and work on this plantation here. Alright, let's take out this pike unit. Maybe we can focus on this one here. 
and bring our other pike unit just to take off some health there. So our units are going to take quite a while to get down south. Probably won't make it in time. What I'm hoping to do is maybe stem the flow around here somewhere in this little gap and then um, overwhelm and push back. I really need a general that would be super helpful right now. Do we have any triremes? Yeah, they're all exploring at the moment. So let's bring this unit down here. I just want to defend against any uh, potential invaders from this side. Alright, whatever. Um, seven turns until Baghdad grows. Corinth has got 26 turns. Athens. We're gonna. I think we're gonna have to put that off for now. Yeah, we're gonna have to put it off. It'd be really handy to have some of those companion cav at this point. Um, so let's change and we'll get a pikeman. It's gonna take a while, but maybe we can pop it into production focus. Eight turns doing it as quick as we can. So here come a couple of those catapults that we were talking about before. Uh, it'd be very handy to have some of those um, um, those uh, melee units down here to help out with the fight. Uh, let's take out a couple of these um, units. I don't want to attack with my pikemen. Or well, maybe I do. I can do some damage to this unit here. Mm, it'd be helpful to have walls here, actually. No, 550, so it's going to cost too much. So we'll hold off on that for now. Let's move our composite bowmen over here. Maybe we can work our way around the mainland um, before we end up in the in the capital. Uh, let's upgrade this unit to a pikeman. I think that's worth it. Yep, I'm going to do it. And we'll keep making our way down south. So we've just taken this... This missionary. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling really good about um, what's happening here at the moment. The fact that we do have pikemen is very—it makes me happy. Our defense is not very good, so, and I just want to keep an eye on these Arabians. Um, even though we did kind of finish them off and, and take one of their their cities, they're probably not going to be ha too happy about that. They okay. They dislike warmongers, covet lands. Okay, so I'm not super confident they won't attack me in the next coming turn. So I'm going to upgrade this unit as well, just to make sure that he doesn't get any funny ideas. So working on a couple of units. Good, good. Let's keep getting this guy up here. So we did lose Corinth. Um, that is okay. Let's keep on working our way down south. Fortify this unit there. Bring our trium down south. Let's put some hits into these units. Oh, I'm going to get hit by the capital actually. No good. Uh, just going to delete this unit here. We don't need it. Um, so his army is... We probably took out a considerable num uh, number of them down south there. So crafty. I don't know why I didn't really see that coming, really. Um, well, I did, but I just didn't really... I just didn't really um, expect it to... I don't know. I wasn't really prepared, really. So guilds could be finished in, in two turns. Let's keep going around this... This headland. Build a plantation. Uh, let's move back so we don't take any more damage from the city there. So let's see if we can get some more. Yep, so we took out one of his units there. We, we need some melee units to defend our, our composite bowmen. Because once he starts bringing his um, warriors and pikemen up here, it's going to be a bit of a slog fest. Um, I could do with horses, really. Yeah, horses right now would be very useful. I think I sold a couple of them to um, someone. I can't remember. As soon as they come back, I'm gonna I'm gonna start building a couple of those 
There's horsemen. We got a spy. I think I have an idea of where I want to send him. Yeah, we're going to send him to Babylon as a... Yeah, we'll be a spy. Because Babylon, I think, are leading the charge um, in, in terms of uh, technology. Let's see if we can do some damage to this opposite bone. We'll move this guy up into this hill and, and start healing a little bit. We do have a road between Athens and Sparta, which is good. What I might do is... I was thinking about building a road down here, but I don't think I will for now. Just going to build those gems. I just want to guard this little headland with this trireme unit. Just to make sure no one comes through. I don't want to lose any more units. So... So I'm gonna gonna try and be careful with um with how I how I use any of my unit any of my units from now on. So I'm gonna heal this unit, bring him around the headland, construct a mine. Let's see if we can take this unit out. Good, good. Uh, let's go defense and start healing now. So I'm just gonna position myself here, take out a couple of their units as they come up the up into this little choke point. I might even go straight for Timbuktu instead of Corinth. And that'll give us a good uh, foothold to get into Corinth. Because coming around this headland, it'll be, it'll be pretty tough to position enough troops around the city to take it with Timbuktu shoot us, shooting us in the back. So um, once these two pikemen are done, I might build one more composite bowman. And then we'll start taking cities. We'll start kicking some A. Build a plantation. Good. We're going to get citrus. Uh, we haven't got citrus yet, so that will boost our happiness up to seven, which is good. So speaking of, here come the warriors now. Um, I'm just going to pull back with a couple of my units and bring my pikemen in front. Yep. Cool. Just wait till the next turn. Mm. Let's hit him. Ah, we're going to lose that engagement. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, Baghdad's getting there. Slowly. Let's refuse. Let's hold on to our horses. For now. Yep. Run away. Run away. Run away. Okay, cool. So we do have horsemen now. Um... So we can start building some of those uh, some of those units. We're going to go into fortify and heal our units, and start doing some damage on these these uh, enemies here. Uh, let's come around to. We can't get shot from this position, so I'm going to put myself in this forest and start shooting this uh, composite bowman over here. So at the moment, I'm just going to be starting to whittle away their their, their units. Hopefully, I can hold on to my own and um, take out theirs faster than they can build them. This is good. I'm going to start getting some uh, some uh, horsemen. I'm sure. In the fun. So we are friendly with them, which is good. Um, the jump from pikemen to oh, from hoplite to to pikemen is is quite big. So I'm I'm really happy that we're starting to. Yes, okay, we got a general. Here we go. Bringing the general down south. Then we're going to get a, a bonus in any any engagements that we get into. Let's finish off this pikeman. So he's only got one warrior. We'll wait until this guy's healed. And we got a couple more units. And then we'll start hitting the back. Nebuchadnezzar is secretly plotting against Harun al-Rashid. I don't think I'm going to tell Harun al-Rashid about that. Because I dislike him. And he dislikes me. He's a good trade partner for sure, but... I wouldn't mind if uh, Babylon start moving down south. Where are they actually on the scale? 334. Hmm. Do we want to shake things up a little bit? Should we share intrigue? Maybe we should. Okay. Well, that might help our... That'll help our relations with them. And it might take uh, 
it might give them a bit of a heads up to, to stand up to Babylon. I don't want to, them to get too strong because, um, you know, obviously with their science bonuses and that kind of thing, they can be a real threat. Um, he could just end up running away with the game, so I think I made the right decision there. And I wouldn't mind having a Harun al Rashid around in the late game just to do some trade with and get some science off. <clears throat> I don't understand why this is taking so long. They're just growing. Yeah, okay. I'll leave them for now. Maybe we just want to get that done though. Production. 14 turns in the, on the courthouse. Yeah, okay. They are extra unhappiness until the courthouse is built. Okay, so that's why I'm so unhappy as well. Um, hopefully one that, once that courthouse is built and we've got this citrus, we'll be a little bit, a little bit happier. Um, good. Yeah, I'm really happy that we got a general now. That's good. That's going to be excellent for our, for our ongoing war with the, the Songhai. Uh, let's bring our unit over here. See if we can do some flanking. Don't really like how this is going so far, so I'm going to pull back and start to heal. Uh, might pull back to this tile here. Let's take some more shots at these pikemen. I'm, I don't really like the fact that he's got a catapult over here. So we'll see if we can take him out. We might have to pull back, I reckon. If I can get my pikemen and sit him right here, that'd be the ideal position because I did... What are my social policies? No, I didn't get honor. Okay. Sorry, I thought I had a um, plus 15 combat strength for melee units uh, next to enemies. So... Hmm. Harun al Rashid is plot. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. So he stabbed us in the back. He's plotting against us. Excellent. So we're going to have a war on two different fronts here. Inevitably. I reckon we're going to have to pull back with this unit here. Let's do that now. So we'll heal in our own territory. Um, we'll pull this composite bowman up to the front and position our pikemen here. Let's start healing our units. Now that we've got our general here, we'll be a little bit more robust in, in combat. So I have a feeling we're gonna have to we're gonna have to beef up this defense up here in the north. Tia, are they still yeah they're still allied with uh, Arabia. Which is not good for us because um we may end up losing Baghdad. Assalamu alaikum Hmm. Maybe I can convince him to declare war on somebody else. Declare war on Nebuchadnezzar. What do you want for this? He doesn't want to do it. Maria? No. Gandhi. No. So we can't convince him to declare war on anybody. I think I, I, think I expected that. Hmm. Maybe. Um, maybe we can enter a war with with Nebuchadnezzar. Maybe we can convince him to 14 gold. So he doesn't really want that much. I mean, he wants silk. But I've only got one one copy of silk, I think. Yeah, so if I lose that, I'm going to lose quite a bit of happiness. I think I need to do it because, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not confident I can hold back Arabia and Tia. Yeah, alright. Declare one. We'll pay for it. Sure. So he's declared war on Arabia. That'll keep his attention up north. So we hopefully won't lose Baghdad in any time soon. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to beef up our defenses. I'm going to build a couple more units just to be so just to be sure, just to be safe. Um, we're not really, we haven't got a whole lot of science, and I'm not happy about that. I th I think we're going to have to get a little bit more serious about. Whoa, dude! Better go on alone. Now he's happy. Happy with us. That's bizarre. 
Okay, so we just lost a pikeman. That's alright. We expect to lose units in a battle. Um, so we can probably just pick this guy apart. Or the rest of these these units apart with our with our archers. Job done. Let's scooch forward a little bit, just check it out. Nothing there. Uh, gonna have to build a few more of these pikemen. Uh, one more here and then maybe a catapult and we'll we'll start the assault. We've got a couple of ranged units. I thought we had four. Yeah, we've got three. That's so funny how quickly that changes. Like Arabia going from like hating us um, to like being our best mate. Right, buddy. No way. I'm not gonna trade <laughs> open borders with this idiot. Okay, so he's spreading his religion down south. So a lot of our um, cities will probably be Islamic uh, fairly soon. That's all right. I'm okay with that. I don't really care about religion. I didn't really commit to anything anyway. Let's keep them building these mines, actually. They're going to be very helpful for us. So now that we've got a horse unit, we can start doing some scouting. Maybe even hit these, uh, these composite bowmen every now and then. Uh, looks like there's a... Yep, just got rid of them. That's okay. So let's try and see if we can do some flanking. Bring our new pikemen up front. We'll just leave this unit here for now. Actually, we'll bring it down. Why not? Cool. So we're making some progress. We are losing a few units, but I think we've... The, the enemy's losing quite a few more. We'll build a catapult here. Ten turns. Sure thing. Let's go production. Nine turns. Sure. He really wants open borders, doesn't he? That's okay. Now that we're friendly... <laughs> Um, I can't see him attacking me really. I don't think Arabia is a type of sieve that will that will um, stab you in the back, but um, I, I'm not. I don't think he's going to attack me, even though he's got a couple of units positioned around my around Baghdad. I feel like he's not going to do it. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, thanks for joining us on Alternate History with Juju Bear. Join us next time as we um, as we build our economy and <laughs> defeat these fucking Songhai uh, down south. Yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.